What's going on guys? Steve here with Adventure Off-Road X and uh, got another little project for us here today. So I uh, ordered some of these airbags that I saw online. Uh, saw some pretty good reviews. Uh, having the rooftop tent and uh, being completely packed down sags a little bit. The biggest thing is is when you do uh, you know springs that are meant for off-road use instead of the stock springs um, they're really not meant for like loading up so what, what these do is they go in between the springs and it just helps kind of gives it that that lift that it needs uh, so I'm hoping to achieve that today um, so follow along as we uh, we stuff these things in all right guys so what I have here is the airlift 1,000 uh, pound uh, airlift and this is what you get in the box guys so get your puck for the top get your actual airbag get your line the other airbag the other top zip ties and you also get a bunch of uh, a three-way and some other stuff in here to help you put it on and of course you get your uh, airlift sticker but uh, really guys all you do is you really you let all the air out here kind of crush it up as much as you can and then we're gonna stuff it inside the uh, spring um, basically what these things do is the puck sits on top like this and then you have your airline that goes through here on the top of the uh, the JT's you have a, a clear space up there that you can actually feed this through um, and put it down in there so that gives it uh, the top there so it doesn't get damaged and all it does is when you put the air in it it swells up and it makes it so the spring can't compress so don't be alarmed if it doesn't hit the bottom. Um, as long as you have this top piece on and you got everything rolling, you should be good. Um, I did call the company and they confirmed and said that I didn't need anything else. I told them that I had a four inch lift, um, that it was not stock. So uh, we'll go from there, man. Um, it's about the best I could do. So with our trip coming up, uh, going to uh, Tennessee and then from Tennessee to New York, and then back down from New York down to Georgia. Uh, I just want to be a little bit more stable. Um, it'll handle it. And when we went to Moab, it handled it. But uh, I just uh, wanted a just a little bit more, a little more comfort um, because it was definitely still swaying pretty good. And especially when you're up there, you know, moving around. So this will kind of stiffen it up just a little bit. Um, it's not really meant to, you know, extreme lift it or anything. It's just going to give it that nice, a little bit nicer, firmer. Uh, feel to it so um, follow along guys this is what the kit comes with when you order it um, I'm not sponsored by any any means uh, I just bought this you know with my money and try to try it out you know just uh, see how it, how, it, how it works and uh, you know go from there so uh, it cost uh, $120 on Amazon is what I paid for it um, I opted out getting the uh, the extra insurance on it Either way guys, uh, follow along. Uh, we're gonna get this thing installed. All right guys, so the first thing they want you to do is they want you to put these rings in here. Get this all the way up. Um, very important to the lip goes up. Right, guys so I've got the airbag installed I routed it behind 
everything. So it comes up behind it, comes back around, and now we're on top. I have the diesel, so my exhaust and everything's on this side. Um, gas is on the other side. So just make sure you route it up out of the way um, against heat and if it's going to rub on something because this is plastic hose. So my idea is to come out basically right in here over on this, on top of this. I used to have the tire carrier. I took the tire carrier out. Uh, so I'm going to route it here and put the, uh, the T right here. That way, when I bring the other one off, I'm going to follow the exact same uh, pattern I had here. And then we're going to go out and I'm actually going to put it inside the bed. So that way it's a nice, easy fill. Uh, it's recommended to keep at least five pounds in these. Other than that, you can fill them up to 35 pounds, the max. Um, as far as what I read online and from everybody else, um, they're running about 25 to 30. So should be pretty cool. So let's do it. the second one in. So just a little trick guys, take the bag that has these supplied caps. If you take it and deflate it as best you can. Put that cap back on it. And it'll kind of stay so that way when you're, when you're trying to jam it in here because i ain't gonna lie it's definitely a it's a bear but <laughs> we'll do it the other thing is is uh, another trick once you get this thing in here and you get it somewhat straight you release it And then it'll help you conform it in there. That's it. But it's a bear. I ain't gonna lie. It's a bear. Make sure this goes up. Uh, division of outlaw 4x4. We're getting it, buddy. Right. Really appreciate you letting me uh, use your bay because if not, it would have been really, really well, you crazy. You haven't received the bill yet. Ah, so I it. ah <laughs> man. See how it is. It looks like it could be a fun time. Not as much fun as slamming your finger in a sliding glass door. I know, right? You don't have much room to work with. This uh, is when you got them bear paws. Dude, I, I know. I'm, <laughs> I'm getting stuck in here. Alright guys, so I've routed it all the way around and I'll show you a better a better view here in a minute. But what I did is I have it sitting right here. So it's up out of the way. I don't have to worry about hitting it on something. Um, we'll go from there and see how that works. I have two valves, so if this doesn't work, we'll move it. But this was just nice and easy, convenient. I don't have to drill no holes, put a couple washers, and, and that's it. So all I'm doing is just uh, routing this over. So the hose itself is up and out of the way. And it uh, should be good. Should be good to start filling here in a minute. Pretty, pretty excited. There we go. It's got 
tighten that fitting up. Should be good. There it goes. It's good. It's not going nowhere. Nice and tight. It's all up in there. Alright guys, so we got it pretty much summed up. Um, overall, pretty easy install. The bags are definitely a bear, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie about that. Um, but once you get them in, wiggle them around a little bit, and like I said, you take that little valve off. Um, it'll it'll go in there and it'll press right up. You push them all the way to the top, and uh, and that's it. Um, I routed up pretty good as far as all the way around, so it's not going to get in a pinch, uh, or it's not going to get uh, in the way of heat. So very important because it is plastic tubing. Uh, if the plastic tubing ever fails, you can pick this stuff up at any hardware store. Um, it's it's nothing special. But uh, I'll show you guys what I got. All right, guys. So you see the airbags there, obviously. And then what I did is I routed it on this side, then around, and then I came all the way up here. Put the T right up here, route it over this way, back down this little hole into here. The valve is right there. Uh, you just gotta bend down a little bit and get it, but overall, both airbags are in. We're gonna pump them up to the recommended uh, five pounds and go from there, but. So Mike. So, watch your head. <laughs> I already hit it a couple times, so. But again, man, I appreciate everything. No problem, man. That's what we do. Um, Good install. Now we <laughs> now we have a uh, airbag division headed up by our old buddy Steve. There we go. <laughs> Need your airbags put on? Come see us down here, and Big Steve will get you taken care of. <laughs> but for real, um, honestly, uh, it's a quick Pretty install. Simple. But if you don't feel confident uh, confident enough to do it. Um, definitely hit my guy up, Mike, yeah, over here at Outlaw Off-Road and 4x4 here in Ocala, Florida. Um, they'll definitely take care of you and get you squared away, um, get you down the road. Probably about a day install. Yeah, know. it's a couple hours install. Yeah. It's, it's, it's I mean, I took a little longer because, of, you know, hey, I can turn some wrenches, but... Well, you know, perfection. You got to get it right. <laughs> got, he's out there with his toothbrush scraping off the mud and stuff, yeah. so, you know, that's a little different. But, but uh, other way, guys, um, check it out. All right, guys, so uh, we got everything installed, and now we're just doing a test drive, see how that, uh, see how it goes. I can tell you already, I can feel the difference. It's, uh, it's pretty, pretty amazing. Um, before, it was kind of like, you know, just a little bouncy, uh, where it took all the bounce out, uh, having that tin up there and everything I have in the back with the cooler and everything else, but now it's nice and steady. I mean, it actually leveled it. So it's doing its job. So as of right now, I would highly recommend. Now, I am going on my, uh, my trip uh, coming up Thursday. So I'll know a little bit more as we go. Um, and I still might relocate that, that Schrader valve uh, to put air in it. It is down out of the way, but you know, it is kind of, you gotta get down there and you have to have a, uh, a hose to get down there so either way we'll see but uh so far so good guys so i would give it a thumbs up um try it out so if you are having problems with uh maybe a little sag in the back or uh doesn't feel as stable uh with your rooftop tent uh try this try them out i'll put a post in in below where the ones i got and uh like i said i'm not affiliated with them i just i I read up on them, and everybody seemed like they had some, some, uh, something good to say about it. So I didn't really see many negative, so I just decided to try it out because I needed something. But uh, again, guys, enjoy your adventure. Until next time.